Hello, this is Kelly Atchison from astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a great little tip for you. I know you guys have probably all seen these little um, bow makers and perhaps you haven't so you've got a nice little treat in store for you today. Not that if you saw it you don't have a treat. I've got a treat for you too. But what I wanted to show you is how to make a triple or quadruple bow with the bow maker. So let's get started. I've got some baker's twine here and I'm just going to pull some off the roll. Depending on what size you want your bow to be is where you're going to move your little nails here. And I want a fairly large bow so I'm going to put my nails right in these holes here. I'm going to hold about four or five inches in my left hand and I'm going to wrap this around three times. Now you're going to come back over here. Now you need to cross your baker's twine over and this bottom one is going to go up and over the top and through the middle and then you're just going to tie it in a single knot and here's where you can move this around to make sure that your knot is in the center of your bow maker. Cut this off, take out one of your nails and now you have this really neat looking bow that's got three or four different little loops on it. Isn't that neat? So how do you get a bow maker? Well, all you need is a piece of wood. These first two holes here are an inch apart, so there's one inch in between here, and then the second and third set of holes are each a half an inch from the middle. And then you do want a nail that is fairly straight. You don't want a big um, head on your nail because it'll be easier to get your ribbon or baker's twine off of there. Here's a piece of ribbon that we can use. I'm going to make a little bit smaller bow and I'm going to again cross it over. This is just a single bow. We're going to cross it over, bring this bottom one up and over and through the middle and then you just tie it in a single knot right here. So this is where again you can adjust to make sure that your knot is in the middle take out your nail and you've got this perfect little bow. So for those of you who have trouble tying bows, this is your ticket. Get really fancy with it and make a triple or quadruple bow like this one. That'll really impress your friends. I hope this tip has been helpful for you today. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Hop on over to my blog, www.astampabove.com or pop me an email. I'd be happy to send you some catalogs. Have a great day, people.